Hello guys, uh, I would like to share with you how you can easily create a virtual lab environment on your laptop or inside the big virtual machine. So let's take my, my example. Uh, I would like to create three virtual machines which will be isolated and create the networks there. Uh, deploy network, control networks and antenna networks. Uh, so each uh, virtual machine will have six interfaces. First one is uh, used by uh, Vagrant, uh, by the Vagrant Livyard network, which is used for the SSH and connect connection there. And then uh, there is a deploy network interface and two interfaces which are going to be bound into the bound zero, connected to the control network and bound one which will be connected to the tenant network and all three of them will look like that so uh, let's check it out how, how you can do it using background and I will also use mass for provisioning which I will uh, describe later so let's SSH to my test VM and start installing the background it will take some time, so I will speed it up. So the Vagrant was installed, and now I need to modify the Liver D configuration. Uh, this is necessary because of the mass. Mass needs to be able to handle uh, the virtual machine state, so it needs to be able to stop it and start it. So that's the reason why I'm. Uh, configuring the liver to listen on the on all interfaces and without uh, no authorization now let's create the SSH key which will be used by the vagrant and here are two short scripts which will just tell me that there are no virtual machines no subnets right now and I will create the background file. It's pretty huge. So let's just copy and paste it. Now I will start creating the infrastructure using the background. Uh, I would like to go through um, the, the background file for now. Uh, so you can see um, there will be one virtual ma machine called KVM01 which will be using the Ubuntu image uh, total uh, there will be three virtual machines and uh, here's the definition of the SSH public key which uh, will be provisioned to each of them here you can see that the, the KVM01 will be using the Ubuntu image there will be also configure the port forwarding for me to get to the mass easily it will, it will also have um, bigger memory than the others and KVM02 and 03 will just boot from the network here you can enable the UEFI boot so uh, you, can, you can test that one as well if you want and here's the definition of the Networking and networking topology. So, deploy, control, and tenant networks. Um, two commands which will ensure that uh, my public SSH key will be written into the authorized key. So, I will not not be necessary for me to enter the password. So the, the virtual machines should be up in a second. If I connect uh, using the uh, virtual machine manager to the, to the box, I, you can see that uh, the KVM01 is having some kind of Ubuntu prompt and KVM02 and 3 are waiting for the pixie, so there is no image right now.
let's see. Uh, so here are the details about the virtual machines, MAC addresses, and, and this short script will tell me more about the network interfaces, um, about the networking and its topology. So you can see the subnets, ranges, and things like that. You can also check the DNS mask file, which will tell you that uh, this IP address is already owned by KVM01. So let's see if it's true. Yeah, so it is 213 at the end, 213. So that's right. Now uh, I will install the and slave package which is uh, needed for creating the bound interfaces so here's the new configuration for the networking including all the bounds and restart networking of course so you can see it's it's there with the proper IPs. Now let's install the mouse itself. So uh, the idea is that on the on the first KVM01 there will be a mouse which will use PXE boot and uh, PXE to boot the other two virtual machines KVM01 and KVM03 and this will happen only on the deploy network so on the control and tenant network there is no DHCP at all it will be only for the statics IP so now I will speed up the video because uh, installation of the mass will take a lot of time So, mask was installed, now I'm going to uh, configure it, so let's uh, do some copy and paste stuff again. Um, this part also creates the uh, admin user and exports the API key, so uh, then I will be able to easily use the command line interface. Uh, another step is to create a short script which will help me with uh, logging to the to the mass taken from the documentation I will create a new SSH key and import it uh, to the mass and then mass will use it and provision it to the newly created virtual machines uh, now let's turn off the KVMs 02 and 03 yeah, now they are turned on, uh, turned off. Get some variables from the mouse, which will be used later. And now let's configure the proper gateway for the subnet 25.0. Enabling the DHCP on the same subnet. That's a requirement for PXE boot. And now I should be able to commission the nodes. So it means that both of the machines will be started by mass. Oh, not yet. Uh, because uh, mass needs to download the Ubuntu image, it's doing it right now on the background so we can check it out how far it is so here's uh, what's downloading and now it's um, it's getting to the to the right place to the con controllers so it will take a um, few seconds 
so here's the subnet here are all the subnets which I created and here is all, also the gateway and the active, the active discover enabled here is the range reserved for the DHCP so that's just for the temporary commissioning stuff So let's wait for the rec controllers to sync it properly. Okay, so the Ubuntu images are ready. So let's commission the nodes. So now you can see the PXE boot. Uh, this will also take some time, so I'm gonna speed up the video. So the commissioning was su successful. I should be able to see the nodes here in the mass, including the details about the virtual machines like memory, CPU, number of interfaces. And of course storage how it will look like after the deployment. Um, uh, right now I will start with the deployment, but uh, before that I need to ensure that each interface which is mentioned here is properly assigned to the correct fabric and correct subnet. So right now you can see that uh, most of the interfaces are assigned to the fabric zero and uh, that's not correct. So. I will execute this one, it's pretty long, and it will do the configuration in the mass and start with the deployment. So as you can see it's the same for, for this one. Uh, now it's deleting and configuring the interfaces. So you can see there are two bonds and uh, one physical, uh, um, and one uh, from the 25.0 subnet, which is the deployment network same will happen here on KVM03 and you can see KVM02 is doing the PXE boot again KVM03 is still configuring the, the, the network part and doing the necessary changes in fabric and uh, interfaces configuring starting IPs now it's done and it's deploying the server again, so it's PXE boot, so I will speed up the video again. So now both KVM nodes should be installed and I should be able to get there. So let's try KVM02 here. So here's the, the bond interfaces with the proper IP address and 
here's the deployment network IP address and the interface as well if I will go to the um, ETC networking directory to see interfaces D file which was generated by the cloud in it so you can see the bonds, bonds are configured here by the mouse which will configure this virtual machine through the cloud in it and 